All right, now, if you actually understand percent, this should be a very easy problem to solve. Okay, so let's take a look at the question, which is the following. 20% of 64 is equal to 5% of what number? Okay, now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Now, before I show you the answer, let's take another quick look at the question. So 20% of 64 is equal to 5% of what number? Okay, so we're looking for this number right here, and the answer is the following. The correct answer is 256. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face in the A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Mr. U2 Math Man, I thought I understood percent. What's going on here? Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. So the first step in solving any math problem is to make sure you actually understand the question. Now, in this particular case, we have a lot going on. So what we want to do here is kind of break up this question in parts. So right here, we have 20% of 64. So this is like one part of the problem. So we can actually calculate what 20% of 64 is. And then right here, we have this phrase is equal to. So from a mathematical standpoint, we can replace uh, these uh, words right here with an equal sign. So 20% of 64 is equal to 5% of what number? Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out what 20% of 64 is equal to. So we're talking about basic percent. All right, so how do we find the percent of a number? Well, this is pretty easy. And again, feel free to use your calculator. But uh, the procedure is pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is take that percent and turn it into a decimal or fraction. And the way we do this is to divide by 100. All right, so 20% uh, divided by 100 is the decimal point to zero. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, it's just easier to move the decimal point over two places to the left. Well, that is the actual result of dividing by 100. But uh, you always change a uh, percent to a decimal by dividing by 100, because if you want to express this uh, percent as a fraction, we'll just put uh, that number over 100. So 20 over 100 is the fraction that uh, is equal to 20%. Okay, now once we have our percent expressed as a decimal or fraction, what we're gonna do is simply multiply by the number that we're trying to find the percent of. Okay, so 20% of 64 is going to be equal to 0 0.20 times 64. And then we'll go ahead and uh, plug in uh, these numbers into our calculator. And the answer here is 12.8. All right, now hopefully most of you are like, hey, Mr. Two, two Math Man, this is so easy. I know how to find the percent of a number, but how do you solve the rest of the problem? Well, we're going to get to that in just one second. Okay, so here is where we're at. So 20% of 64, we figured uh, this out, this is actually equal to 12.8. So we can kind of rewrite this problem and say 12.8 is equal to 5% of what number? Okay, so now let's kind of think about how we want to solve this problem. Now, depending on how you were taught percent, there's a couple different ways you can approach this problem. I love to use algebra to solve basic percent problems. Okay, so 12.8 is equal to 5% of what number? Now, this number here is an unknown value, so I can just kind of think of that number as the variable x. So I can express this in this manner. So 12.8 is equal to 5% of some number x. Okay, so how do we find the percent of a number? Well, remember, all we have to do is simply change that percent to a decimal. Okay, so 5% is equivalent to the decimal 0 0.05. So we're going to take this and multiply it by our number. Now, just because our number is a variable, it, uh, the procedure is still the same. Okay, so 12.8 is equal to 0.05 of x. And now all we need to do is solve this equation. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. 
Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full detailed lesson on every single topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full detailed video solutions. I have a ton of additional worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so now we have the problem down to this equation here. So we have 12.8 is equal to 5% or 0 0.05 of some number x. And if we can solve for this uh, variable x, we will have solved the problem. Okay, so what do we need to do here? We actually only have to take one step to solve this equation. All right, and that step here is to divide both sides of the equation by 0.05. Now, again, feel free to use your calculator here, but uh, when we plug in the numbers, 12.8 divided by 0 0.05, we're gonna get X is equal to 256. All right, so that is the solution. Now, this is one approach. If you took a different approach, that's perfectly fine, as long as you understand percent. Because if there's one math concept that you totally wanna understand, that is percent. I just kinda ask yourself, how often we see this percent symbol. You see this thing all day long, whether it's credit card rates, inflation, you know, taxes, uh, your cell phone uh, battery uh, charge, you know, you're down to 10%. This symbol is everywhere. So you definitely wanna understand percent. And hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. But uh, if you need additional review in percent or basic math, Check out these two courses here. I'm gonna leave links to both of these courses in the description of this video. My first uh, recommendation is my Math Foundations course. This is a quick basic math review. I cover percent, fractions, order of operations, positive and negative numbers. So if you're looking for a quick uh, basic math review, this is the course. Now, if you want a more uh, extensive uh, math review, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Now, in this course, I cover basic math, but I also get into algebra and geometry. All right. Now, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.